Today on Bloodbath and Beyond, we watched You're Next. Stay tuned and find out if you're next. A movie about a couple celebrating their 35th wedding anniversary. And they invite all their kids out to come celebrate, but they soon find out they have some uninvited guests. What did you guys like about the movie? I liked the suspense in this movie. I thought it was going to be, like, not as scary as it was at the beginning. <laughs> this was more like The Strangers than I thought. What I liked about it was the deaths and how realistic they were. Almost every single attack, even if they just swung as hard as they could, the weapon got jammed that they had to either leave it in or try and pull it out. I think I liked the uh, number of characters there were. Because when they first started off, I was like, is it going to be these four people for the whole movie? Because I didn't realize the rest of the, the children were going to show up. <laughs> so they had like plenty of people they can kill off while at the same time having enough survivors. The tension, though, really set the mood in this movie. It really kept you on the edge of your seat. Like all the ambient music was pretty awesome. It was a nice throwback where they threw some goblin-esque type music in. <laughs> Everything looked really nice cinematically. When they wanted to build that suspense, you had someone in the frame and then they left the frame and instead of doing a quick cut, they left it on for a good like three or four seconds just to build it up. Do we have any favorite kills in this movie? It's unanimous with what the best kill in this movie was. It was obviously the blender kill. Spoiler! Not only does Aaron smash Felix in the head with a blender, it sticks right in the top of his head. She plugs <laughs> it right in, turns it on, and just fucking slices up his head. I think my favorite had to be the, f the first crossbow kill, only because it was so unexpected. I thought, you know, like we talked about this, it would be a little bit of build up, you know, get to know the family a little bit more, but like, no, they're in the middle of dinner and then smash it. <laughs> crossbow to the face. Like and I'm like, that was the last thing I expected to happen. My favorite death is going to be when one of the killers actually dies. This is when we actually like see Aaron kick ass. She starts off by like booting him in the nuts. She's got a tenderizer and she just beats him senselessly in the back of the head, on the head, like all over. Like she destroys this guy. Definitely one of the more brutal deaths for how long it was going on. Just a little side note, it is kind of cool to mention that the victim actually had more kills than the killer. A victim killed seven people. That's really, really <laughs> impressive, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't happen. What did we not like about this movie? They repeated some scenes that they shown previously in the movie and added maybe 10 seconds to either the beginning of that scene or the end of that scene which didn't end up making any difference to the story. And it wasn't really necessary. It was just like kind of to remind us what was happening, but we already knew. It was so reused to the point where we're like, did this just skip? This movie's a little unique to me because I liked it, but I can list off like thing after thing after thing I did not like about it. I didn't like the music. I thought it was out of place and cheesy. I didn't like that we didn't get to know all the characters. Like the girl that made a bolt out the door, they could have set that up a little bit more and just been like, oh, she used to be an Olympian or used to do track in high school or something. Yeah. Just to give like some sense of why she'd be running. I hated how many times people walked towards windows after all the arrows came through them. It's like for every time there was something realistic, like a realistic decision someone would make, there was also like a terrible decision. I just like the fact that we had three skilled mercenary killers and the way that they interacted with everybody, it seemed kind of like they were doing it wrong. They do all this really cool buildup and they seem like legit assassins. And then the one girl just home alones them. All right, it's time for What Would You Do? The game where we take scenes from the movie and put ourselves in those situations. John, I got one for you. You are standing in like a stairwell and a girl screams upstairs and she comes running down right past you and out the door. What do you do? You're the dad. I'm freaking out because my wife just died. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'm enraged with anger. Shock has turned to rage. And now that I know the person who killed my wife is upstairs, I'm gonna go and get myself a nice weapon, march up there, and full-on combat. In fact, you know what, I'm out in the country, I'm rich, 
I have a gun. In fact, I'm going to my liquor cabinet and my desk. I'm going to get both my guns. I think I'm going to take my daughter's pashmina she was wearing and like wrap it around my head Rambo style and really go to town on this guy. Let me wrap this pashmina around my head and then go to town <laughs> is that, on this guy. <laughs> no, that's how gay shit, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going up there and I may not be coming back, but I'm going down with a fight. All right, Dave. You're Amy. You're sitting in the foyer with your whole family. Everyone knows that there's killers outside. Now there's seven or so people that are trying to convince you to run directly out that door, find help, call back, but there are marksmen out there with crossbows. What do you do? Fuck those guys, I don't run. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to like rally some troops. I'm like, why don't we just all run out? Like, they can't get all of us. Strength in numbers, brother. Jay, you're Aaron. Your beloved Crispin was in on this whole plan. If you just keep quiet and play your role, there'll be like half a million dollars just for you in a, in a month. What do you do? Right now, how I'm standing, I've killed six people and I can walk away without anyone knowing that I was the killer. And get hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, I despise the man who's giving me that dough. I can kill him anytime I want. I'll kill him later, after I get my dough. Maybe go to Paris first. I heard that's nice. That's what we would do. Tell us what you would do in the comments below. That brings us to our final thoughts and ratings. I thought this was a great movie. It wasn't the horror slasher movie that I might have thought it was, but all of the deaths were pretty cool. I thought that the character development was pretty awesome. I thought the whole story and the whodunit vibe of it, I really, really liked it. I'm gonna give this movie 4.5. Bunch of knives and stuffs <laughs> in the fucking chest out of five. I like the story. The typical slasher is usually, uh, you know, some lame backstory to the guys. But this is a little different. This was like murder for hire, which you don't typically see in a horror movie. Because of that, I'm going to give this movie 4.5 grammatically correct spellings of the word your out of five. I really enjoyed this movie. The story was there. The character development was there. The movie had its subtle comedy. It had really great action, great cinematography, and amazing suspense. So that being said, I'm going to give this movie five slippery floors out of five. That's what we thought about the movie. Let us know how you feel in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below with any requests that you have for them dope-ass movies.